There's no question how important Ryan Whitman and Lewisdale are to this Cornell team. But tonight, Cornell proved that they can win without those two having big offensive numbers. Tonight, Cornell defeated Columbia 83-72 here in Newman Arena. They're a very physical team, and it's all about effort when you play them. And they're going to get up in you, and it's going to be a good battle. I, I like the physical play because you can you yeah. play yeah. off of it and find those spots for the defense because that's what they do a lot. They leave the open spots open a lot because they put so much pressure. So I think I'm pretty good at finding them. I think Alex and myself just adapt to the game a lot. We have great chemistry between us. So I usually know where Alex is going to be. You know, going to be. Um, you know, I think most of my assists were to Alex, actually. And, uh, so when we get the ball, we know we're, what each other's thinking, and that, uh, that really helps us. The second half dunk by Jeff Reeves electrified the near sellout crowd, a crowd that has willed Cornell to 15 straight home victories. Well, how's it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Especially with the, the fans we had. Of Cornell's seven games in Newman Arena this season, only two of them have been played with classes in session. I think it was a, it was a good crowd. It was, uh, it was nice to have them back. Uh, the winter break was a little, a little more quiet, but I think they definitely had a, had a six man whenever everybody's here and everybody's getting loud and into the game. Yeah, it's, a, it's a whole different world. It's still there. I think, you know, if you get a thing or something like that, it's a good sentence. Last week at Columbia, the Lions opened with a five point halftime lead before falling to the Reds 71 to 59. However, this week, Cornell made sure not to let Columbia go ahead in the early going. Last week, we kind of had an off game. We feel like, um, especially Alex and myself, uh, but this week, we really wanted to establish ourselves early, get their, get their guys in foul trouble. We felt like we did a good job of that. They were trying to drive so much last week. They were, all they were trying to do was get up the paint, drive, and kick out. And really, not, not even kick out that much. They were just looking to score. And this week, they weren't trying to uh, get right in the paint as much. And, uh, I don't know if it's just something that their game plan did change, but we also stepped up and played better for our defense and kept them out of Other people had to step up and kind of get rid of myself. A little room to uh, you know, have to stay over. Uh, I think we're better for it. It was great to come, come out to it and get 10 off start. You got to go the whole game as opposed to being behind uh, last week. So we got, we'd like to, we'd like to push it out farther, but uh, they played, Columbia played really well tonight. Cornell continues its Ivy League season next week at home against Brown and Yale, where Cornell looks to be at full strength for the first time this season. Senior guard Adam Gore is projected to suit up for the first time since tearing his ACL early in preseason this year. Reporting live from Newman Arena, I'm Jake Massbaum, Slope TV.